In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a copy of a Google Sheets file, or in other words, how to duplicate an entire file in Google Sheets. Now, there's two different ways to do this. You can either do this from Google Drive or from within the Google Sheets file directly, and I'll show you both ways. So in this example, I have a Google Sheets file that has one tab called Combo Chart, and the tab has some data and a combo chart on it. And what I want to do is make a copy of this entire file. So the first method that I'm going to show you is from within Google Sheets. So open the file that you want to make a copy of. And once it's open, click File on the top toolbar, then click Make a Copy. Google Sheets will give you the option to name the copy of the document that you're creating. It will also give you a couple of extra options to choose from. And so when you're ready, click OK. And Google Sheets will automatically create an exact copy of the file. And when using this method, it will automatically open up the copy of the file in a different tab in your browser. And so now I'm looking at the new copy of the file that I just duplicated. And if I toggle back and forth between these files, you can see that the only difference is the title of the files. And so making a copy of a file in Google Sheets is very, very useful, especially when you're trying to create backups or when you want to create an alternate version of a file that already exists, but you don't want to actually alter the original version. So the first method that I showed you is from within Google Sheets. And again, you click File and then click Make a Copy. But you can also create a copy of a Google Sheets file directly from Google Drive. And so if you go to drive.google.com to your own Google Drive and you locate the file that you want to make a copy of, simply right click on the file that you want to copy, scroll down, click Make a Copy. Now, in this case, Google Sheets won't automatically give you the option to rename the file. But once you find the file that's copied, you can you can rename it at that time. And as you just saw, when Google Drive is done copying the file, it will give you a pop-up notification that allows you to click and locate the new file. And it's at that time that you can go ahead and rename the file if you want to. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you want to read the article version of this video, I've linked the article below.